Maxine at Fabricland. Today I'm going to show you some World Book Day costume ideas. We've got loads of books, we've been to the library, we've asked people to bring in books that they read to their children. So we've got some out to show you, to give you some ideas. So I'll just let my camera lady just pan along to see all the sorts of things we've got. We've got poly cottons, we've got happy ties, we've got gingham, we've got things with stripes and skulls. We've got crushed velvet, we've got animal prints, but if we start at the end and we'll move along. So if you fancy doing the Gruffalo, okay, we've got lots of different furs that are like very animal-like. So maybe have a go at doing that. And you don't have to make the full suit, maybe make a tabard. And when I mean a tabard, you would have a piece of fabric at the front and a piece of fabric at the back. And you normally cut a hole and maybe put like a little string or something like that just to keep it so the child doesn't like pull it all off. So just like a little tabard, you could elude and maybe make a pair of ears. Um, we have got the owl babies and we've got this gorgeous curly fleece so maybe have a go at making something with that what about the tiger who came to tea so we've got lots of animal print cotton so you could have a go at making some maybe some ears a tail and maybe make again a tabard or a little top so that would be good uh, we've got the stick man so we've pulled out suede now suede doesn't fray so you could just cut that okay and you could have a go at making a whole costume out of that that would look good uh, we have got Harry Potter. Um, so for Harry Potter, you could make a cape, which is really easy to make. I've got one here that I've made. Okay. All you need is some fabric that's going to be as long as the child's cape. Okay. You've got enough in the width. And all I've done is just tacked th over a hem, thread a cord through, and it's really easy, she says. And you've got yourself... A cape so which is really easy for the child to put on so you could have yourself a cape and what about maybe making out of felt a tie okay for your for your house whether you're Slytherin or Gryffindor okay so and you could just pin that with a safety pin or put a bit of elastic through it and you've got a tie maybe make a hat a Harry Potter outfit we also do crushed velvet um, which is very good as well. It doesn't fray, drapes well. Maybe you fancy doing little red riding hood. We've also got like a poncho cape as well, which is really good. Winnie the Witch, so if you fancy doing wizards and witches, we've got loads of different fabrics for that. So we've got twinkle crepe on and sugar puff. There's lots of different things you could use to make the dress, make the hat, do a wand. So maybe have a go at that. What about this pirates book pirates love underpants so we've got stripy fabrics we've got things with skulls on we've even got a treasure island and map fabric so there's lots you can even make a map for them there's lots of different ones that you could maybe have a go at doing the most important thing is to either ring us okay the phone numbers on our website okay or go into the shop with the book okay and they will do their best to try and help you because we don't know every single book character but if you go in with the book they can look at what you're trying to achieve and they can help you you could do alice in wonderland with gingham we do felt squares we do stick on stars that um you could just stick on with some fabric glue so they would be quite good if you're doing wizards superheroes things like that um the hungry caterpillar pillar classic book here maybe make a costume and we've got all the different color poly cottons um we have got zog here and we've got things with scale prints on so maybe you might want to make some funky leggings and team it with a t-shirt um there's lots of things we do felt by the meter in lots of different colors and you can see it's really wide so that would be really good and if you really like what I'm telling you, why don't you subscribe to our Fabricland channel so you can see all our updates, all our fabrics. So I hope I've given you a bit of inspiration for World Book Day. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can make it quite simple. Come into our shop, ring us on our phone number and we're here to help you. Goodbye.